uh, as a tennis player growing up, you have two aspirations. One is to play Davis Cup for your country, and I think the second one is to play Grand Slam tennis. And then when you break it down further, when you look at the Grand Slams, Wimbledon is the, is the one to play, the one to win. Um, it has more tradition um, than any other event. It's probably an event that for me, growing up, you know, for whatever reason, it was that event you got up in the middle of the night and you watched all the great, great matches, great players, Borg, McEnroe, um, and there's some mystique um, about Wimbledon. You know, it, it really has um, an aura about the place that is very different to the others. Um, every Grand Slam means a lot to me, and I've been privileged enough to play them all, but Wimbledon um, seems to have a feeling about it that is different. And uh, I don't know if it's the traditions uh, of the All England Club or it's the grass, the um, the surrounds, the people, I'm not sure exactly what it is, whether it's the, the ghosts that they talk about the, on hallowed turf, but um, you know, Wimbledon is a special place and, and uh, you know, I remember all my memories there vividly and um, you know, it's something that I never did, I didn't, never did really well at Wimbledon, but uh, it's a place I certainly um, love to play at. Uh, first of all, I you know I was lucky enough to as a junior to go and play, and I won the junior Wimbledon doubles. So that's obviously a, a great experience. I'll never forget my first match actually in singles in the juniors playing out the back courts, and it was in the days when the ivy was very much growing over the centre court stadium, um, and you know it's something that was so uh, imprinted in your mind as a kid growing up, and then to actually be there was was quite surreal, and uh, I'll never forget that moment of playing your first match at Wimbledon. I think another great memory for me uh, is when I first got into the main draw and I played my first senior uh, Wimbledon Championships uh, and my parents flew over uh, and I think that moment for me as a kid uh, in a family of you know five all played tennis and for them to go and live that first you know um, experience that first moment with me playing uh, on one of the courts at Wimbledon in the championships was very very special. Playing Pete Sampras on centre court, he was a defending champion, uh, I'll never forget that moment. And I also played my last match in my, in my career at Wimbledon, so um, it's certainly been uh, a wonderful place. I never did re really well there, but still watch it, still love it. Um, you know, when I watch it, it's, again, it has this different feel. And the traditions, the memories of watching it, um, you know, even, even though the game has become more of a baseline, uh, sort of duel at Wimbledon. It's no longer the really fast, slick courts where you see a lot of serve volley. It's more baseline play, but there's still a little, little more adaptability and a little more, um, you know, aggressive sort of tennis than what you see at some of the other other slams. It's different, and um, I think when you always have a point of difference in any sort of domain, it's always great to great to watch that sort of spectacle.